I got asked to do a few tutorials on testing electronic components. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos, please check those ones out. But this one is going to be on testing resistors. Now, what a resistor does, if you think, let's say, instead of thinking about it being electricity, if you think, let's say, water flowing through a hose pipe, if you squash that hose, the water will flow through slower. Well, that's kind of what a resistor does. It kind of just limits the flow of electricity. Now, we'll cover a few different types of resistors, but the uh, through-hole ones here, if you notice, uh, these are resistors here, in case you didn't know, uh, they've got some colour bands on them. The colour bands indicate the value. And what I'll do, I'll put a chart up just on the left hand side of the screen here. Now, there's a few ways of remembering these. Um, there's some coloured code monomics that you can get from Wikipedia. If you go onto the Wikipedia page, I'll leave a link in the description there. There's various different methods of uh, remembering these colour codes and what the values mean. Uh, I was taught a uh, uh, monomic back in the 80s, uh, I think BigClive.com used a similar one but apparently it's uh, classed as offensive and outdated now so I'll not uh, say that one here then. But uh, feel free to have a look on the Wikipedia site and uh, choose one that's easiest for you to remember. So, we'll put the meter into ohms mode and we'll just check some of these resistors on this old board here. So. Um, the first one here, we'll check, uh, we've got a yellow band here, which is 4. Then we've got the purple band, or violet, which is 7. And then we've got the red band here, which is 2. So that's 4, 7. And the 2 is the multiplier, or an easy way to remember it is the number of zeros. So 4, 7, naught, naught, would be... 4.7k or 4700 ohms and as you can see on the meter there we've got 4.67 because resistors aren't quite that accurate what you've got on the end of the resistor there's another if you notice on this one here we've got a gold band here and that's what's called the tolerance so that means you know it'll be within five or ten percent uh, i think gold's five and silver's ten percent of what the actual value is supposed to be so if we'll go on there we've got 4.68 so yeah it's about 4.7 so we'll choose another resistor um, we'll have a look at i don't know sort of um we've got some down here now those are 10k i know just by looking at them so we've got the um brown band here obviously you read them away you view them towards the uh, the gold band so we've got brown which is one then we've got black which is zero and then we've got orange which is three zero so one zero 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 so ten thousand ohms or 10k so if we measure this one 9.96 so that's about right um now the problem is when resistors are in a circuit, what you may find, they'll be connected to other components. For instance, if we measure this one here, which should be, uh, from, well, no, we'll measure this one here first, which is 4.7k, one we've already measured. And we'll measure one over here, which is the same colour, so we should get 4.7k. But if you notice, the value is changing. And now it's sort of settled down at 3.44k. Now, that resistor, even though it measures incorrect, I wouldn't think it was faulty. But the only way to double check that would be to actually desolder one of the legs and test it. But because this will be connected to other components on this circuit, like the capacitors, what will be happening is we're, uh, we're actually measuring the values of other components as well. Now, this is just a scrap board. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut this uh, leg on this resistor and we'll just lift it up a little bit and if I measure it now we've got the uh, correct value I can hold the probe on there it's a bit uh, difficult oh. there we go 4.7k so even though that resistor wasn't measuring right in circuit there's actually nothing wrong with it it's actually fine now, this big white thing here is also a resistor, and if you notice on this type, 
it's actually got the value written on so it's got six ohms eight so that should be 6.8 ohms so if i measure that one i'll just get the meter leads on there and um, i've got 6.9 ohms so that resistor's okay as well normally when resistors of this type go they, they normally go you know they don't normally burn you normally see them black or whatever so it's pretty easy to tell when they've gone I mean, it's not always the case, but, you know, just, just general rule of thumb. These ones you can't really tell. Uh, I mean, they may be discoloured if they've had too much current flowing through them, but... Right, we'll uh, have a look at another board now. Um, I've got this board here. Now, the surface mount resistors, they've actually got three numbers written on them usually. Like this one here has 102. So, the first number... You just read it as is, so 1. Then the next number, 0. You just read that one as is as well. Now the 2 is the multiplier, or like I said, an easy way to remember it is the number of zeros. So 1, 0, and then 2 zeros after it. So 1,000, So or 1K. So if we measure this resistor here, and like I said, you know, resistors have got a, a bit of a tolerance. They're not exact. So we've got 900 and 86 ohms there so what about i don't know sort of 14 ohms 14 ohms off there and if we measure the next one down which is also 102 that's about the same i mean my meter mightn't be exactly spot on as well you know that's another thing you've got to take into consideration and if we just check on this one here so that's how you work out the values on those ones so like a 103 would be uh, 10k, let's say 102, 1k, 472 would be like 4.7k. So that's how you, you work those ones out. Didn't say just use the last digit as the number of zeros and you shouldn't go far wrong. Let's have a look on this circuit board here. Again, we've got some big resistors here. Uh, we've got yellow, which is 4. We've got purple, which is 7. And we've got black, which is 0. So that means there's actually no zeros after this. So if we measure this one, we're about 47 ohms because there's no zeros. The number of zeros at the end is zero zeros, if you know what I mean. So it's actually four and just four, seven. So 47 ohms. Um, I've got another board here, which is it. An old uh, TV power supply. Um, and we've got a resistor here, so we'll measure this one. So this one is brown, which is two, uh, sorry, one. Then we've got black, which is zero, so one, zero. And then we've got yellow after it, which is four. So we've got one, zero, followed by four zeros which is 100k and we've got you know just over 100k there but let's just show you get the idea so that's that's pretty much how you test resistors so if you found this video useful please give it the thumbs up if you want to see more like it please subscribe any comments or questions please leave it in the comments section below and as always have a great day thanks for watching